If you've been watching my channel for a while now, you know that I love TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is one of the tools I use to manage and grow my channel. It helps me plan topics that you guys want to watch, and it helps me see where I rank in search on YouTube. It's really amazing. But one thing I haven't talked about is the TubeBuddy app because it does some different stuff than what I see on TubeBuddy on my computer. So let's dig right into that. So once you've signed into TubeBuddy, every time you open the app, this magical thing happens. TubeBuddy shows you how many views you've gained on every single video since you last opened the app. And you watch the numbers climb up, and I don't know, I get this weird little thrill every time I watch this animation. What I love about this feature in the TubeBuddy app is that it's so gratifying. You know, in YouTube Studio, in that app, you can see how many views that your videos have gained, but it doesn't do the calculation for you about how many new views you have. And so with TubeBuddy, I, I really love it. It's so satisfying to watch this. The next tab at the bottom of the screen is comments. To me, this one is very similar to the YouTube Studio app. You can sort by ones that you have replied to, and you can reply really easily in this app as well. I'd say this is pretty comparable to the YouTube Studio app. The next tab for me is another really, really great one. It's called Milestones. This is where you can see all of the milestones that your channel has hit, and even how far you have to go to hit your milestones. And it's really rewarding and a really easy way to keep track of how fast you're growing. Milestones is something that they do have on the desktop version of TubeBuddy, but I do like to have it right in my pocket on my phone. It's super convenient and it really keeps me motivated. The next tab over is news. If you're interested in social media industry news, this is such a great place to find updates. I really actually enjoy looking at these news articles. Like if I'm in line at the grocery store, it's always information that's interesting to me because I'm interested in the social media industry as a whole. And so I love this one place where I can find a lot of different updates and it's news that I wouldn't see anywhere else. The last button on the end is the menu button, and this is really where a lot of really important tools are located. The first one is Tag Explorer. This is where you can put in an idea for a topic in your video and then see where it ranks in terms of searchability and if it's a good topic for your channel. This feature is really similar to the desktop version of TubeBuddy. One thing I like better in the desktop version is that it kind of color codes my results. So it goes from red to yellow to green, green being the best idea for my channel, whereas there isn't that color coding here in the app, and I wish they did have that, um, but it's still a great tool and it really just works just the same. The next item down is called the Topic Planner, and I have to tell you, this is one of my favorite features on this app because I get ideas for videos all the time, everywhere I am, and I don't always have a pen and paper to write it down. The TubeBuddy app is so great because I can enter in an idea for a topic and then even go in and put in like subtopics within that bigger topic. So I always have a place to keep my ideas handy for my YouTube channel. So for me, the TubeBuddy app doesn't replace the YouTube Studio app because that YouTube Studio app tells you so much. It tells you real-time information about views on your channel, tells you how many subscribers you've gained every day, it gives you metrics on your revenue if you're monetized, and all of this stuff is super valuable, but TubeBuddy does some stuff different from that YouTube Studio app. So to me, these two go hand in hand. They really work in concert with each other, and they're definitely like the two apps I use most on my phone. If you're interested in TubeBuddy, I have a link below. They have a free trial version, or you can upgrade to get more really valuable features. And I think over time, if you try the free version, you'll wanna graduate to the paid version because there's so many benefits to it. That's kind of how I went. But then once you get that TubeBuddy on your desktop, make sure you get that TubeBuddy app. It is awesome. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. This is the kind of stuff I talk about all the time. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again.